Hello everyone. Uh, today I am highlighting some of the resources that are available to our UW Platteville online students that can help you be successful whether you're taking one course or completing a full degree program with us. Um, so right now on my screen you will see that I am on the UW Platteville um, the campus homepage. While this is very helpful, we do have a page that's dedicated to just the distance learning students. You can access this through uwplat.edu with backslash distance education, or we also have a short URL that's gouwp.com. And this is, we created this just so um, it's really easy for our students to access, it's easy to remember and it takes you right to that distance education homepage. Um, so when you get to this page, you'll see student stories, you'll see news announcements, there's all sorts of information here. But the thing we're gonna focus on today is the student resources tab. And this is something that we created based on student, um, student services survey feedback, the student services survey team, alum, um, alumni, and advisors chipping in. So you'll see if you let your mouse hover, you'll see that there's a list of resources here. They're all in alphabetical order. So you can go through, you can look for the thing you're looking for. Uh, if you don't see it, you can always click on the tab and that will take you to a landing page with some more information. So when you get to that student resources tab, you will see the student services team. Um, and then you can scroll through and get a little more detail on some of the options that we offer. One of the ones I'd like to highlight today are those academic resources. Um, as you'll see here, the Carmen Library is the big one that I want to hit on. This is something that you'll see in almost all of your courses. This is where a lot of your instructors will pull their resources from, and it's great if you're doing research for a paper or a project. There's a lot of great resources there, so you'll want to find that tab. You'll want to get familiar with that. Um, on the next tab I wanted to bring up, and we'll scroll down so everyone can see, is the external academic resources tab. Now this is something that we put together because not all students are coming in on the same footing. Some haven't been in school for a while and maybe you want to catch up on, you know, make yourself more familiar with APA writing style or you need to do some brushing up on statistics. The resources we have listed here are recommended by students, they're recommended by faculty, they can help you kind of get back in shape for, for taking on your online courses. Um, the Khan Academy is great for mathematics, Purdue Online Writing Lab is great if you're looking for how to do citations and things, so I'd encourage you to look at that tab closely. The final one I'm going to pull up today um, this is a useful one if you're looking through these and you still don't know where to start. Go to the frequently asked questions. Um, you'll see here it just lists current students, but we do have options for alumni and prospective students as well. But this one is here because we wanted to put everything you'll need in one place. So we'll click on that. And that brings us to our FAQ tab. Again, as you're scrolling down, you'll see some of the common questions we get. What is PASS? How do I register for classes? Um, if you click into one, there's a little descriptor, there's a link to where you can go to get more information. So it's really helpful, really concise, but let's say one more time, you're not quite seeing what you need. You can scroll down to the Still Have Questions tab, and when you select that, you can see contact information for our department. That way, Maybe we get your question added to this list and we can get you set in the right direction, find you the resources and the content that you need. So again, this is just a really quick overview of that student resources tab. I encourage you to go out and explore it and uh, have a nice day. Thanks.